So one of the big movers and shakers here in Las Vegas has been the new smartphone from Palm of all people. They're back on the scene with the Palm Pre, which has been billed as a genuine iPhone killer. Now we've seen plenty of these in the past. Unfortunately, where we can't get our hands on with it today, but Stephanie from Palm talked us through the main features on the Palm Pre. All right, so this is the Palm Pre phone, which was announced yesterday, and it's the first phone running the brand new Palm Web OS, which was built from the ground up. So to show you a couple of the core features, starting with the hardware, we have this beautiful touch screen, um, very thin device. If you slide it open, you have the full touch keyboard as well, which is the best of both worlds. When it's slid open and also when it's closed, you see this beautiful kind of curve to it, which is perfect when you lift it up to your face and you don't feel like you have kind of a plank of wood stuck to your ear. But there's some spots on either side of the center button here that are also touch sensitive. So if I want to go back, for example, all I have to do is touch back on this area and it'll pop me back to the previous screen. You'll notice that my, my favorites bar is, has disappeared here because we wanted to show you as much of the screen as we possibly can. So what we've done is we've created a gesture that allows you to bring that back. So if I scroll up from the bottom, you can see that this quick launch bar comes back with all my favorite applications. So I decide that I want to launch the calendar. I just release while I'm on the calendar. It'll open up my calendar app. There, our messaging app is also very cool. So what we've done is we've actually combined IM messaging and text messaging. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. We don't really care about kind of the transport. We care more about the fact that you're having a conversation with somebody. So if I look at some of my conversations here with David, <clears throat> I can see that we've switched back and forth from Gtalk to text messaging. And it's all in one threaded conversation. And if I'm talking to him via IM, and then, oop, he goes offline, I'll get a notification that he goes offline. I just go up top to my transport, and I switch and I decide that I want to text him, and it's all in one sequential thread, so, so I can follow the conversation as a whole. If I want to start a web search, for example, if I want to do a Google search, what I could do is I could go to the browser and open my web browser and go to Google and do a search. What would be faster is if I slide open the keyboard and I just start typing. So we're at the Venetian, figure should see Blue Man Group, start typing, and it automatically searches my device first to see what I'm looking for. It shows me the applications that might come up, as well as the contacts. If I keep typing, it's going to realize that there's nothing on my phone that actually corresponds to the Blue Man Group, so it's going to ask me if I want a Google search, a map search, or a Wikipedia search. If I decide that I'm done with the website, with the Blue Man Group website, <coughs> just drag it off the screen and it closes it off. Another really cool thing about the phone is that it does actually run multiple activities at the same time. So we've never really seen this before in a mobile space, but it's very reminiscent of what you would have on your desktop if you have your multiple apps open. So if I press my center button here, I can see that all I can see that I have two applications open. And these are actually live applications. So for example, if I get into my contacts and I kind of scroll my contacts, you can see that it's still moving. And I can just navigate through these. Oops. Excuse me. I can navigate through these. I can move them around if I want. And the great thing about this is that I can just, I don't have to open and close, open and close, open and close applications all the time. I can just do a bunch of things at the same time. In both the browser and in the photo application, you can do the kind of pinch zoom. So if you want to zoom in on these guys, you can also do, it also has the accelerometer in there. So if you want to view it on a horizontal mode as well. Okay, so let me show you the Palm Touchstone charger. So what this is, is it's using a special inductive check charging technology. So in the back of this battery door, there's a couple of magnets and an inductive charger. And what that does is it just snaps it into place, and then it charges your phone. So there you have it. There's our first impressions of the Palm Pre. And we must say that they're very, very good ones indeed. As we said, there's been a lot of phones that have been billed as potential iPhone killers. We really think we might have found one with the Palm Pre. It's a staggering return to form for a company that looked absolutely dead and buried uh, in, in the past couple of years. Things we really like about this phone, the touchscreen seems fantastic. Granted, we weren't able to um, have a play with it ourselves. But just noticing the ease of which uh, Stephanie was able to slide between the menus was evidence enough for us to suggest that this really could be a genuine iPhone killer in the touchscreen department. The option of having a um, QWERTY keyboard in there as well will please BlackBerry users no end. Now, we were also impressed with the way that the phone uh, has a great synergy with your means of contacting people. In the same screen, you can see whether your contacts are online, so you can find them by email or by instant messaging, or if they've gone online, you can reach them by a text message. 
This all happens within the one screen on the Palm Pre. Whereas with some of the phones that you've seen out there on the market, it can take you five, six, seven, eight steps, different applications to achieve this. Another really uh, positive factor for the Palm Pre. So all in all, we can just say that we are pleasantly surprised by the Palm Pre. Definitely one to look forward to. iPhone lookout in 2009.